So we're going to make a deck, which is this part. So I'm going to come over to my rectangle tool. Go to start here in the corner. I'm just going to go 20 feet by 6 feet. There we go. Easy enough. Now I'm going to extrude this by using the push-pull tool, which is right here. Extend this to by 4. Enter. Very easy. So this is going to represent this section right here. Cut back over here to the highlight tool or the pick tool. I'm going to, whoops, I don't want those up there. Let's go up here. I'm going to just grab all these, right click on the inside of the project, and make a group. There we go. Easy enough. So I'm going to make a rail now. I'm going to start right here in this corner. I have my rectangle. I'm going to come out two by two inches. Hit enter. There we go. And I'm going to extrude this. So I'm going to hit my push pull tool. Bring this up 30 inches. There we go. Easy enough. So let's go ahead and make this one rail a group. So I'm just going to highlight that right there. Right click, make group. There we go. Now, this is where it differs a little bit from when the multiply command. We're going to divide. So I'm going to hit my, you see my, my rail is still highlighted. So I'm going to come over here and hit my move tool, control C. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to grab this point right here and bring it over to right there and park it. So, I'm going to say I want 30 rails in here. Now if you notice my my command window down here, I'm just going to hit the backslash backslash 30 enter. Easy enough. Now if you feel that's not enough for you, I'm just going to come back over here backslash 40 enter. There we go. Very easy process. I'm sure you'll like this just as much as you like the multiply command. So I'd appreciate it if you practice this and once you master this, I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, hit, give me a comment in the section below and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.